correctness properties of a distributed algorithm and the specification of a service will be described as properties of sequences of observable events. These are observable events of an execution. These properties can either be classified as safety or liveness properties. We will now define what it means for a property to be a safety and liveness and show some examples. We are right now here trying to describe the properties of a service and also the correctness properties of the algorithm implementing the service. And these, these properties will be either safety or liveness. So we're talking about correctness of a service or an algorithm. Will be always expressed in terms of safety and liveness properties. What are safety properties? These are properties that state that nothing bad ever happens in an execution. And what is liveness properties? Liveness properties state that something good will eventually happen in every execution. So here is an example that is not related to distributed algorithm. It's about you as a student with the correctness of your participation in this course. Safety says that you should never fail the exam. Making exams cost universities money. So the bad event is you failing. And liveness property here says that you should eventually take the exam. So by taking the exam, a good event happens and the university gets some money. Here is another example about the correctness of a traffic light at an intersection. So what would be the safety property of an intersection, traffic light intersection? It is basically saying that only one direction should have a green light. Otherwise, it will be disastrous if the two directions have the same green light. That will be the bad event. And what is a liveness condition here? or liveness property, is that progress will happen. Every direction should eventually get a green light. So safety and liveness properties are properties of executions. In particular, they are properties of the sequence of external events of a distributed algorithm that are observed. So let us now start our journey to define these two properties formally. First, let us remember what is executions and what are traces. So an execution of a distributed algorithm or automata A is a sequence of alternating state events, state events, state events, and so on. And the event here is an occurrence of an action in an algorithm or an execution of a handler. And as we said, the system is described by transitions, and a transition happens when you perform an action and you move from one state to another. So an execution is an execution fragment, as we described before, where the initial state of that execution is part of the set of initial states for the whole system. And a trace is basically a subsequence of an execution consisting only of all external events. These are events that we want to observe. So when we are describing a system or a problem or an algorithm, we describe it in terms of safety and liveness properties. And these are properties on traces. A property that says for that trace, the property is satisfied, or for that other trace, the property is violated. So, a trace property is a function that takes a trace and returns either true if the property is satisfied or false if the property is violated. So P is a predicate. And a result in distributed algorithm says that 
Any trace property can be expressed as a conjunction of safety property and liveness property. So any property you would like to have on traces on this sequence of events can be expressed as a conjunction of safety and liveness properties. Let us now start to define this property formally. First, we just some definitions, which says a prefix of a trace is the first key event of the trace. So you have a trace, that execution that results in a trace. You take the first key event, that would be a prefix of the execution or a prefix of a trace. So it is the be finite beginning of a trace. An extension of a prefix P is any trace that has P as a prefix. So if we have a trace, let us assume that this is a prefix P, then an extension of P is any trace that has P as a prefix. So we any trace, for example, this one, that extends P to E prime 4 followed by E prime 5 and so on. Informally, we say that a property P is a safety property if every trace T violating P, so a trace, will have a bad event, such that every execution starting like T and behaving like T up to the bad event, including that bad event, will violate P regardless of what it does afterwards. So let us again draw it and see what we mean by this. So a property P is a safety property under the following conditions. So we have here an execution. Start with event E1 and here is event E, say, four, and we assume that E4 is a bad event. Now, this execution, or this trace, T, is violating the property P. So we say here that every trace T violating P has a bad event. And you can see here that we assume that E4 is a bad event, such that every execution st starting like T, so this point, and behaving like T up to the bad event, including, will violate the property P. Any way we extend this prefix after the occurrence of the bad event, we'll have a trace, in this case this trace, and this also will violate the property P. So once we have a bad event, any extension of that trace will lead to a violated property P. So once the bad event occurs, there's no way out. So here's the definition. A property P is a safety property if given an execution E such that the trace of E does not satisfy the property P, violates the property P. Then there will always execute a prefix of E such that every extension of that prefix gives an execution F whose trace is always violated. We can this do these things again by drawing. So given an execution E, and we just now draw only the traces. Here's an execution, we draw only the traces. And this trace, we call it trace of E, does not satisfy the property P. So P of the trace of E is false. Then in this execution, there is some prefix, E, and this is the prefix where the bad event happens. So this is a prefix of E, 
such that every extension of that prefix, as you can see here, also gives an execution. This the execution here will be f, such that that execution also will violate the property p. Here's an example of a safety property, which is the case when we have point-to-point -point message communication. And the safety property states that a message sent is delivered at most once. So we assume we have two processes, P1 and P2, P1 send messages, an output event, and P2 receives messages from the network. This is a here's the lever event. So now, if we look to the events, so if we have here a send of M1 from P1, followed by a send of M2, again from P1, then we got, say, a deliver of M1 to P2, then, then we have a deliver of M2 to P2. Then if we get now another deliver of M2, then we violate this property. And this is our bad event, the delivery, the second delivery of M2. So say it in words, which is take an execution where the message is delivered more than once. We cut off the tail after the second delivery. You remember the deliver of M2. And any continuation or extension now will give an execution which also violates the required property, the property that the message sent is delivered at most once. Now let us look to liveness. A property P is a liveness property if the following condition hold. Given a prefix of an execution E, there exists an extension, which is the trace of F, for which P is true. So what this is say is that if you have a prefix of an execution, we can always extend this execution in different ways, but we can always find a way where we can satisfy the property P, which is saying basically, as long as there is life, there is hope. Just to give you again an example of this property, a message sent is delivered at least once. So if we have an execution, and we just look to the traces, the events of the execution, that is the traces. And if a, a message that has been sent, so it is sent M, if this message has been delivered here, for example, that is fine. We are satisfying the property. But if until this point, there is no message delivery of M, then if we can always find an extension where we can actually deliver the message, like here, then we say, that this property is a liveness property. So again, take the prefix of any execution. If the prefix contains a delivery, and this was the delivery of the message M, then any extension of that, of course, satisfies the property P. But if the prefix does not contain the delivery, then we can always extend it so that it contains a delivery. And the prefix plus the extended part will always satisfy P. That's what we have shown. We extended a prefix and we made an event to deliver that message. And that extension always satisfies P. Therefore, P is a liveness property. So what we are trying to do here is to characterize what is a safety property and what is a liveness property. And to say it short, a safety property is a property that can only be satisfied in infinite time. So you're never safe but it can be violated in finite time when a bad event happens just to understand this with infinite time when we observe a trace of external events things are working fine but we do not know if a bad event might occur in the future but as soon as the bad event happens we know that the property is violated safety properties often involve word like never at most cannot and Sometimes it is called partial correctness. If we look, on the other hand, to liveness, is a property that is satisfied in finite time when a good event happens. 
but violated in infinite time. So there is always a hope. We can always extend a prefix of an execution where we can satisfy the Leibniz property. It often involves the words eventually or must eventually mean at some time, at some unknown point in the future, things will happen. So that is, that is how we specify Leibniz properties. So Leibniz properties can also be just termination, just saying the algorithm will eventually terminate. Here's a picture that illustrates safety and liveness. So safety can always be made false after a finite time, like when a, this is a bad event happens here. And safety is false for any execution. If there exists a prefix, here is the prefix, such that all extension of that prefix are false or do not satisfy the property. Liveness, on the other hand, can always be made true in finite time when the good event happens. And liveness is true if for any prefix there exists an extension, there is at least take any prefix, there exists an extension where we can satisfy our property, satisfy the good things that we want to, to achieve. So a question that arises is every property, either liveness or safety. So here is one property. Every message should be delivered exactly once or exactly one time. Is it a safety or liveness property? Actually, it is neither safety or liveness property. It is a conjunction of a safety property, this one. Exactly every message is delivered at most one. And a liveness property which says every message is delivered at least once.